the colder season approaches, this is the perfect time to really focus on yourself and focus on creating the building blocks to success. Because the colder it gets outside, the more we end up staying indoors, which we're able to really sit down and focus and master the skills of achieving your goals. And you may be asking, what skills should I be working on that will be perfect for when spring rolls around? For when um, all of these holidays are over, what can I learn with, to finish off this year strong? So I'm going to give you the couple skills that I think that you should be working on. And I'm going to give you guys the strategies on how to achieve these skills, on how to master these skills. So <clears throat> this is the perfect opportunity to focus on yourselves and to really give yourself a chance to achieve your goals because we only have a couple more months left of the year and we don't want to wait we don't want to waste it we want to master these skills we want to bring in the new year with a brand new mindset with brand new ideas and brand new skills that we can really take into 2025 and then create the life that we truly wanted if you've wasted this entire year then don't let 2025 become another year wasted we're going to really focus in and create the building blocks to success so like i said i'm going to give you the few skills that you should focus in on and i'm going to give you guys the strategies and i'm going to give you guys the strategies on what you need to do to build it if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Geraldi and I make videos all about productivity and goal setting. So if that's the type of content you love to consume, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you already, haven't already. Also click the notification bell so you do know when I do upload and follow me on all my social media. I'm at Geraldi Silva. So let's get on with the first tip of this video. So number one, discipline. This is a skill that I feel like a lot of us kind of lack. We struggle so much with discipline. I know I struggled a lot with discipline so what is discipline class let's let's learn this together what is discipline discipline is a controlled behavior so what does this mean it means that you are making a conscious decision to either a focus on your goal and do the action that's going to help you achieve the goal or you're choosing to procrastinate and you're choosing the opposite of what you need to do to accomplish your goal so you are making a conscious decision it's not like we are unable to make decisions on our own lives no you are making the conscious decision to not achieve your goals right because when we choose to procrastinate then you're delaying any pro the progress to getting there faster so how do you control your behavior and why do why do people struggle struggle with discipline on a daily basis well we struggle with it because they lack the discipline they lack the ability to tell themselves no what is procrastination procrastination is the lack of ability to tell yourself no no i'm not going to eat that cookie because i'm trying to lose weight no i'm not going to scroll endlessly on online because i need to study for my test no i'm not going to lay down and do nothing with my life I am going to go straight to the gym or I'm going to go straight to film that content or I'm going to go X, Y, or Z, right? No, I'm not going to eat out because I'm trying to save money because I want to buy a house. These are conscious decisions that we make every single day. And the reason why people struggle with discipline so badly is because they lack the ability to tell, to tell, to tell themselves no. And I feel like this is kind of where we have landed with society because we're so indulgent into self-care we think that we need to give ourselves consistent self-care all around meaning that we're giving in to things that are probably not good for us so i want to i want you to think of self-care differently rather than just being indulgent and thinking you deserve everything i want you if you lack discipline because yes I'm not saying that you don't deserve everything because you do deserve everything, but you deserve everything at a cost. This doesn't mean that you're going to eat McDonald's out every single day. That is not a self-care thing. In fact, that's the opposite of self-care. You actually hate your body because you're not feeding it with nutritious things. So to be indulgent, to have self-care, 
I want you guys to rethink self-care. Self-care should only be given when you have worked hard for it. If you had a hard week and you've been working and busting your ass off and you're just like, I just need a day for myself, then yes, that's when you can be indulgent. But if you're just giving yourself in every single day, giving into that cookie, giving into that need to scroll endlessly, giving into your need to eat out every single day, then you're not practicing self-care. You're just honestly you're just creating a horrible lifestyle for yourself that is not going to lead you anywhere other than to self-destruction and we can get to that to a whole like at another video but <clears throat> think of self-care in a different way work hard then give yourself the reward right don't give yourself the reward before you even worked hard this is why we have a struggle with discipline because we want to consistently reward our brain and so our brain gets addicted to that dopamine we want it more and more and more and so when you give in to that cookie when you give in to that necessity to scroll you're just teaching your brain that hey i don't need to work hard in order to give myself what i want to give myself that chemical that feels good in my brain I don't need to work hard to do this so therefore why would I go to the gym when I'm just going to give myself that cookie regardless of whether I go to the gym or not. You just end up causing a bigger problem for yourself because that just means you're gaining weight instead of losing it or you're maintaining the weight that you do have and whether you like it or not you're going to maintain it and it's nothing's going to shut off you're going to still feel bad about yourself you're still going to be like oh, nothing fits me I don't look good. And then summer's going to roll around and then are you going to wear sweaters for, for the summer? No, you're going to want to wear bikinis. You want to look good. This is why the winter is such a good um, focus to hone in on that discipline skill. So this is the strategy that I want you guys to focus in on, okay, for discipline. So the strategy for discipline is to learn to say no more often. We have to say no more often. So if we look at a week which is seven days. I want you to practice saying no to yourself five days out of that seven day week, out of those seven days, okay? So five days you are telling yourself, I'm going to the gym, I'm eating clean, I'm focusing in on losing weight, and then on the weekend, you can give yourself an indulgent day. You can either choose to have only one day of indulgence so that you don't really fuck yourself over, or you can give yourself two days of indulgence. That doesn't mean that you're going to be eating horribly the entire day. No, it just means that you're giving yourself in a little bit more. You're like, you know what? I'm going to be a little bit more lenient on my calories. Or I'm going to be a little bit more lenient on dessert. You're not going overboard. You're just giving in just a little bit because you've worked hard for the past five days. But you have to focus in on working hard. Where you're staying in a calorie deficit where you're going to the gym five days out of the week yes i said five days out of the week you are not eating out you're taking lunch to work you're focusing in on those five days so that when it comes to the weekend or whatever day you choose to be indulgent then you actually deserve it because you've worked hard the past five days and then from there you can grow and stretch out your discipline once you start being more disciplined out of those five five out of those seven days then you could stretch it out to two weeks i'm going to do two weeks of being not not giving in not procrastinating and i'm only going to allow myself one day out of those two weeks to be indulgent okay cool once you've grown that skill stretch it even longer i'm going to go a month straight without being indulgent and I'm going to give myself only two days out of the entire month to be indulgent. Then you stretch it and stretch it and stretch it. This is how you master the skill. Start by this week. Seven days. Five out of those days. If whatever day I film, I upload this video. Start on Monday. You go to the gym Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And obviously I'm saying the gym because that's just the perfect example. I feel like that's a lot of our goals. But whatever your goal is, you make the action five days out of those seven days and you give yourself two days to just give in to scrolling on instagram give in to that sugar cookie give in to whatever but again don't go overboard don't lose out on the progress that you have made just give in a little bit because again you deserved it so that is the skill of discipline 
The second skill that you should master during this winter month is consistency. So what is consistency? Well, let me answer that for you. So consistency is the action being made every day. That is consistency. Easy to understand, right? It is the action being made every single day. So what is the action being made? So the action being made every single day with the example of losing weight is going to the gym. Going to the gym is the action and you do that every single day. That is consistency. You show up every single freaking day. Consistency. So why do people struggle so much with consistency? Let me answer that for you. So the people, the reason why people struggle with consistency is they tend to cut corners on their routine. Let's switch it around again, right? If you are a girl, and guys I guess too, if you are a girl or a guy, you all we all have like a skincare routine or a makeup routine, right? And let's say your skincare routine requires you to cleanse some sort of serum, if that's at nighttime a retinol, and then moisturize right that is your skincare routine and you do this every single night or every single morning but for this example let's do it at night because of the retinol right what does retinol do retinol is a um a serum that helps stimulate collagen in our skin right which makes you feel which makes you look more youthful and um healthy looking skin so people tend to cut corners on the consistency of retinol because they're just either wanting to get into bed really quickly and or they skip their skincare altogether and they don't show up for themselves, right? They cut corners on the routine. So therefore, the retinol is not going to have its ability to really make results. They're not the retinol is not going to create the results that you want because you're cutting corners on your on your routine. You're not allowing the retinol to really thrive because you lack the consistency of re, of applying it every single night so that over time you can see the results in your face. And so you do it one night and then two nights later you don't do it at all and then you do it another night and then you tell yourself like man this retinol really sucks like it's not doing anything but in reality you are the problem because you're not the one that's actually allowing the retinol to see itself through to see if it's even actually creating results because you lack the consistency this is why people struggle because they cut corners on their routine same thing as going out i mean same thing as going to the gym people well, if we look at it in a week, people will um, go to the gym maybe one time a week or three times a week. Or maybe they won't go at all for one week. And so at by the end of the month, when you check your weight, you're like, man, I haven't lost any weight. Like this workout routine is not really working. But in reality, you're the one that cut the corners because you weren't going to the gym consistently. You were just going all willy nilly whenever you felt like it. You're cutting corners on your consistency. And that is why people lack consistency because they tend to cut corners. So how do we master this skill, right? What do we do in order to master this skill? So in order to master the skill of consistency and you're lacking the ability to stop cutting corners is you have to tell yourself you're just going to get over with it. It's as simple as just a mindset. It, that's all that it is. And this is where discipline kind of comes in, where you have to tell yourself no, and you tell yourself, I'm just going to get over with it. What does this mean? So if you have to go to the gym, and you're really just wanting to lay down and procrastinate and just scroll on your phone, instead of being like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go, like, I'm being lazy, you just tell yourself, I'm just going to get it over with. It has the same tonation, you're validating your feelings of, oh, I don't want to go, of, oh, I'm like, it's a struggle to get myself up. But there's one key thing in that sentence, that phrase, the action is going to be made. That is how you consistently show up. You just tell yourself, I'm just going to get it over with. Because once you do it and it's done, it's over with. You don't have to worry about it anymore. It's over with it. <clears throat> so you just tell yourself, I'm just gonna get over I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna get it over with because again once it's done it's done so stop cutting corners on your routine and just get it over with once it's done it's done don't have to worry about it anymore until the next day right and then afterwards after you're done with your routine then you can have 
whatever it is that you want. You can, after the gym, you can come lay down and scroll on TikTok for all I care. But just take the action. Show up every single day. Just get it over with. Practice that phrase and actually do the action. Again, for this next week, this is your homework. For this next week, when you feel like you don't want to show up for yourself and you're lacking that consistency, practice that phrase, I'm just going to get it over with. And see what it does to you get up get dressed and go to the gym or eat your lunch from work don't eat out because a lot of the times 99% of the times I've regretted eating out instead of just eating my lunch that I brought so I'm like darn I probably should have just ate my lunch <clears throat> just get it over with once it's done it's done it's over and you don't have to worry about it anymore so before we get to the last scale I do want to announce to you guys that if you want I have a free membership uh, group called the Committed Collective, where we are a group of collect. We are a group who keeps each other accountable. I admire this group so much because some of you guys have really been showing up for yourself, and I really, really appreciate that for yourself and for me too to keep <clears throat> everybody accountable. So if you are lacking again that consistency, that discipline, then join the Committed Collective group because it'll keep you accountable. It's a group of like-minded people who want to achieve their goals. So if you're interested, it'll be it'll be linked down below in the description bar. Again, it's free for anybody to join Committed Collective group over on Facebook. The other announcement is that I do have an emailing list that I will be emailing you guys once a week. So I'm not gonna be spamming you guys and you will receive a free goal setting mind map where if you have just a jumble of thoughts and you don't know how to create an action plan for yourself, this is the perfect resource for you. It'll be linked down below. Again, all you need to do is just input your email and you will receive that for free. So announcements are over. Let's get on with the last tip of the day. So the last one, the last skill that you guys, I know a lot of you guys, um, fail at or just don't have this skill is commitment 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 oh oh commitment so what is commitment commitment is the promise that you'll show up the promise that you show up so we make the promise of i'm gonna go to the gym five days out of the week and i'm gonna show up every single week and you don't know how to keep that promise with yourself you don't know how to trust yourself enough to be like i am going to commit to this goal of going five days out of the week so why do people struggle with commitment why do people struggle with this skill it's because they don't believe in themselves that is actually going to happen you don't believe that you're actually going to lose weight that's why you don't go you don't actually believe that you're going to have a multi-million dollar business so you don't even put in the effort you don't actually believe that you're going to get a house in this economy so what what is the point of saving money i'm just gonna go out, eat out eat out and forget me saving you don't actually believe in yourself and so that's why people lack the commitment you don't believe that something good can happen if you put in the work because it hasn't happened yet you've never known what it's like to have a lot of money in the bank account you've never known what it's like to be an influencer you've never known what it's like to have a home you've never known what it's like to have the body of your dreams so you don't have this like tangible you've you don't have this like tangible proof of it can happen because it's never happened because you've never allowed yourself to actually see what happens if you just showed up if you kept that promise to yourself of like i'm gonna show up and whatever happens happens but i'm gonna keep trying and this is why people lack the commitment to it because they don't believe in themselves so what is the strategy here how can we learn to have commitment with yourself well to have commitment with yourself means to just be delusional again you've never been rich right i mean i'm assuming you've never been rich You've never had a million followers. You've never had a home. So you have to be delusional enough with yourself to be like, this is going to happen to me whether I like it or not. Whether I believe in myself or not. This is going to happen. You have to trust the process. And that's where a lot of, but a lot of us kind of fall short. It's because we lack that trust in ourselves to make a decision that could actually benefit us in the future. 
We want to choose the easy side, the easy route of, I'm just going to scroll on Instagram. I'm too scared to see what happens. Or I'm just going to scroll on Instagram because who am I to think that it's actually going to happen for me? You have to trust yourself enough to know that if you make the effort, if you show up for yourself, if you're consistent with it, and you keep that promise with yourself, that delusion in your head that it's going to happen whether you like it or not. It's going to happen because you put in the work. You have to be delusional. And another thing, you have to fake it until you make it. Even if you don't believe in yourself, fake it until you make it. That's what confidence is too. You fake it until you make it. You pretend that you are confident and then guess what? Eventually you do become confident. Same thing with this. If you just fake it, if you're just like, this is going to happen, I'm just going to show up and see what happens. I'm going to just show up and see what happens. I'm going to show up and see what happens. And then guess what? It starts happening and then you're like, what the heck? This is actually happening? What the heck? This actually worked? Fake it until you make it. That's all it is. Even if you don't trust yourself. But you have to keep the promise with yourself. Once you learn how to keep the promise with yourself, you start trusting yourself even more because you understand, oh, wow, I can actually make good decisions. If I trust myself, if I trust my intuition that if I do this, th this is the result. This is what's going to happen. All of these skills. So that is what you do. The strategy is to fake it until you make it and to keep yourself delusional. So those are the three skills that you whatever it is that you're lacking whether it's the commitment the consistency or discipline or all three this is the perfect time again during the winter where everyone's just hibernating and everyone's just keeping more indoors this is your perfect chance to really try to master these skills so that once you once spring rolls around once summer rolls around you have something to show for yourself you're like look at all the progress that i've made and look how my life has changed since 2024 right or whenever you're watching this so these are all these skills that you should try to master during this winter and one thing i want you guys to keep in mind is that these skills are not just like a one and done thing just because you master it doesn't mean it's not going to be put into practice every single time because even the most disciplined people like the people who've already like had the body of their dreams or already have the body of their dreams they always say the same thing I there's days where I don't even feel like going to the gym and I still push myself meaning that discipline is never a done deal you practice it every single day sure it's not going to take you as much effort as it is today because you don't have that skill but it doesn't mean that it's not going to be put into practice later down in the future because we still have to practice discipline and we still have to practice um consistency and showing up for, our, for ourselves and being committed to our goals this these are skills that will forever be in practice but again it does not mean that it's not going to be something that's going to be taking as much effort as it is today it's just something that it's just a skill that you just you continue to to practice until i don't know the end of time <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also click the notification bell so you do know when you to upload and follow me on all my social media i'm at Jaldi Silva. thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys again on the next one bye